Hey guys, today I want to show you something really stupid I did that cost me 35 bucks and a little bit of frustration so you guys don't make the same mistake. And here's what I'm talking about. I just had to purchase a new helmet liner because I screwed up my original one. When I did the video on how to clean your helmet, the cleaning part, totally fine. No problem with that. The problem was I needed it for a ride the next day. And like the instructions say, I didn't machine wash it and I didn't put it in the dryer. But what I did do was I flung it because it's very saturated, it's foam and it's squishy material and it soaks up a lot of the water. So after it's washed, it's waterlogged. Well, I took it and I shook the water out. Didn't think anything of it. And then I let it uh, air dry and it was ready for the next day. The problem is when I flung it, it stretched. So what happened was it stretched lengthwise. And now this front part is too long and it's sagging down. This part here, which is supposed to be flat up against the helmet, like this, it's touching my forehead. It feels like I'm wearing a freaking ski mask. So annoying. This whole thing just, you can see how much extra material there is now because it stretched when I flung it out. And it's not like it's in the wrong position anywhere because it can't go anywhere. It snaps in both ends. It's simply too long. The other problem is, if you can see in there, there are slats and those line up with the cooling holes. The problem is the whole thing slid down and now the actual foam part is blocking the cooling holes for the front vents and oh my god does that make a big difference in cooling when you don't have that airflow so this now has to come out <laughs> it's shot just because I flung it to try and dry it so gently squeeze out the water a little bit and then let it sit all right don't wash it the night before you need it for a ride. Take my advice or live with a wet helmet, but don't do this to get that water out because man, it didn't take much. It really didn't. This stretched just enough. A couple centimeters is all it took for this to no longer be just the right size and shape and for these holes here to not line up with those vents slid forward just a little bit that's it I mean, just the size of this slat here is all it stretched and it was completely ruined all that just to save a little time so there's your tip of the day new one cheapest I found was 35 bucks and I got it on Amazon I found it for 35 bucks at a lot of other places but they wanted to charge shipping so whoa hey now so do your shopping if you do need one or your cheek pads or anything like that. The cheek pads, I just kind of squeezed them out, didn't have to shake them. They're still absolutely fine. Here's another interesting tidbit while I'm here. <laughs> um, guys, this isn't going to be a problem for the ladies, but guys, if you have 5 o'clock shadow, uh, the way my hair grows, I can only shave every other day or it just absolutely tears my skin up. But if I let it go even one day too much, I get really nasty stubble and it chews up your cheek pads right here. And these are already getting a little worn. I'll get another year or two out of these cheek pads, but they're going to go pretty quick. So stay clean shaven. Or if you're growing a beard, just know it's going to take a toll on your helmet while you go through that annoying stage. And I've been there a few times. So that's it. Just a quick tip. Save yourself some money. Do it right. Don't be a dummy like me. See ya.